I'm here now, so. You're good. Like, what? Go back to the church. Tell everybody what's up. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who's on there. <laughs> um, no one's there. We're telling Todd. Oh, okay. Well, somebody in here. Oh, it's Tammy. Hey, Tammy. Yeah. <laughs> Tammy popcorn? Yeah, she popped one. That was very nice of her. I'm Uncle Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hello. This is my friend Rico right here. Today I'm gonna let him smell a couple, uh, a couple things. There's some fragrances that I bought uh, that people compare. Hey, hey, Doc, how you doing? Um, there's some fragrances that people say smell like another. I kind of wanna uh, to see his opinion because. Some of these fragrances don't smell the same. Like they, they don't. They, they get rated as the same kind of fragrances, but they don't smell the same. So I'm gonna let him smell some stuff and see if he if he agrees with you guys. You know, well, not y'all, but for the people that are on, uh, you know, uh, Fragrantica. What's up? What's up, Kingdom Fragrances? <laughs> Let's see. All right. All right, here we go. So, it's been a while since you've been in here. Anyway. It's been a while. You guys might remember me from the uh, the little tester video. Uh, sampled a few of them. Mighty nice. <laughs> giving, giving my opinion on what type of people would wear certain fragrances. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Um, hmm. I think where I want to start. I want to start with... Um, Start with this danger. This is danger. Oh, about to break my bone. Yeah, it looked like a little bit of danger. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, as y'all know, this is one of my favorite fragrances, Danger, uh, by Rosa Rosa Parfums. Let's see what he thinks about it. All right, y'all work with me. I'm not as practiced as some of you. <laughs> Oh, spicy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, no. I like it. Yeah. Um, I couldn't even really tell you why. Uh -huh. um, it definitely stands out. You know, you're that guy comes in the room, it's going to attract attention immediately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's up, everybody that's joining? All right. Uh, so they say that that smells. Similar. Would you call this an everyday scent? Um, I wear that on special occasions. Yeah. It's a fresher, kind of spicy. Uh, like big red spicy. in a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> I think they said it smelled like heritage. So <laughs> we're going to pull out heritage. This is heritage. Heritage Biker Line. This gets compared to Roja Dove. Uh, danger. Poor oh my, my stuff is falling down. I think this might be a little bit more uh, animalic. You'll see what I'm talking about. What's up, everybody that's joining? This this is supposed to smell like the last Similar. one? Similar. I don't get that. Okay. It's a lot lighter. Yeah. This one I could wear more often because it's not as abrasive. Okay. You know, it's not like, here I am. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like this is a lean-in scent, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't you get know. a little bit of the smell. Can y'all smell that? Let me know. Can you smell it? Smell good. What does that smell like? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Menzi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let me think of something else that they compare to each other. Um, so there's this fragrance right here. Tammy was asking about this yesterday um, in the group chat. I just sprayed it. Let me find sure. it out. Oh my goodness. Where did I put it? It should be up here. You got a catalog for this thing? Yeah, these are like all my <laughs> these are all my um indie and high end stuff. Oh here it is. Tripping. You gotta remember where I put stuff now. So everything's been reorganized. So this is Dua Oh So Fresh One Night Stand. <laughs> 
Also fresh too when I stand. It's by the Dua brand. Now, this is compared to a fragrance called uh, Crush On Me by Uniki. Oh, yeah, I need that. Yeah, Crush On Me. <laughs> Crush On Me is... Whew. So this is one night stand. It smells similar to Crush On Me. This is very soft. Yeah. It's almost woman-y. Do you get do you get a little bit of like um whiskey, like a fireball whiskey a little bit? Like with the first one, definitely. Not this one. Not though. that one? Okay. So one of the notes is fireball whiskey in that one. Also <laughs> fresh. I smell smell a little bit of yak in that. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> it's but, got uh, like an alcohol kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. Like smells like a drink. But I wouldn't say fireball. That first one, what was that, Danger? Yeah. That one was definitely like in your face, cinnamon. I chewed a whole pack of Big Red before I got here. <laughs> like, <laughs> Let me know what that smell like. It smell good. <laughs> so they compare Crush On Me or this uh, Dua to a fragrance called um, Japanese Patchouli by Xenia. Mm. It's Japanese patchouli. I just picked this up the other day. People in fragrance could say it smells like Crush on me, but I don't. I don't think it does. But let's 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 see what he thinks. I think this is a little bit less sweeter. This is Japanese patchouli by Zinya. If I missed it, here you go. Let it dry a little bit because it's a, a fresh splash on it. Yeah. <laughs> But they both have a patchouli note in it. Maybe that's why they compare them to each other. Is patchouli. Now, this one, I, I can see they compare this one to the last one I just smelled. Yes. That I get. Oh, oh okay. Only this one smells, it has a more masculine appeal to it. Mm -hmm. This one has a bit more, I'm going to call it umph. It's got a little umph to it. Mm -hmm. You know, and, um, the last one was just a little too, I don't know, it was a little... A little dainty. A little dainty, yeah. You know, <laughs> a little more feminine leaning. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a very soft, non... Yeah. Yeah, it's like, like yeah, it smells good, but I'm not coming at you, bro. <laughs> you know, like... Yeah, this, this is definitely This sweet. one's like the husband fragrance of that one. Right, <laughs> yeah. So you, you guys smell up. similar, but that one smells like a man. Right, so you do pick up some <laughs> similarity. Yes. Okay, so... Most well, certainly. There it is, yeah, so... For granted, because right on that one, saying Japanese patchouli smells similar to Crush On Me. And, well, Crush On Me, the actual Crush On Me is much, much, much more sweeter. It's sweeter than that one. Yeah. So, yeah. But After smelling all these fragrances, I'm hungry now. Uh, so, you want to give me a sandwich? You took some Chick-fil-A? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think those are the two comparisons I can think of all, uh, off top. If, if I can think of another one, I'll grab it. But I do want you to smell some stuff that I... I've got it recently. Um, you know, give me your opinions on them. This is a uh, this is Iomi by Zhirzhov. Iomi Monkey Special, I believe that's the full name. I got this when I was in. Uh, well, I smelled it in California. When I was at uh, Glamcation, and Glamcation. Yeah, this is an event that I'm. It's going to be a daily, uh, not a daily thing, a yearly thing. We're going to be going to. Um, but I smelled this at a place called Scent, Lucky Scent, okay? And I was like, man, can I get that? Can I, You got a bottle? And they were like, no, nah, we're, we're all sold out. You have to get it online. I ended up buying it here at home in, um, in uh, the mall. So right now, you see, he's smelling Zhirzhov Iomi Monkey Special. Monkey Special? Yeah. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the guy is Tony Iommi. All right, I don't want to smell that's, like a special monkey. No, no. All right. <laughs> Bruce and passion fruit with a sweet base. Yes, that's that's the Iommi. Yeah, what you said. Mm. Because I don't know how to describe it, but <laughs> maybe it's because I'm already hungry. Yeah. And you just named like food. <laughs> it is exactly what you said. So go you. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Tammy. Yeah, it's, I like it. Um. I know uh, some people are saying, oh, you know, it's it's clashing that Dua, the Dua uh, Oh So Fresh 2. It doesn't clash to me. It smells really good. As a matter of fact, Camille, she really, really liked it on me. So, the... Um, this reminds me of like a soft mint gum. Hmm. Almost. Interesting. Not, not like 
<laughs> hard winter fresh. What was another one they had? One. I don't know. Very double mint. No. 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 Uh, what is it? That's smelling that right there. Yes. Smell? Yeah, Iomi is. I like it. Look at you, it's it's fancy. dark. Coat. This remind me of a. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, a, a alcohol. It boozy. This is a, this is like, I remember boozy. smelling it like a a shot. Like I can't remember what Let it is. See. It's brown. It's a brown. Um, Jameson? No. No, it's not Jameson. No, it reminds me of. No, it's. <laughs> it is boozy. Is it Crown Royal? Is it the Green Apple? Crown Royal Green Apple. What did we drink at my uh, uncle's retirement party? Um, Everything. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, but it reminds me of a brown drink. I don't know. I don't I'm, I'm not the best. Yeah, that Iomi on skin smells totally different. I mean, not totally different. You still get that boozy, that boozy effect, but it is a very good scent. So if I get pulled over wearing this, I'm gonna have to walk the line. No, basically. a fragrance like a fragrance <laughs> that get, get you pulled over and probably get, I don't need those problems. Car searches is Caragized by Nisha Nay. This smells even, even though it doesn't, it's not supposed to smell like cannabis. It's got a cannabis thing. It's supposed to be like grapefruit. This scent right here. It's supposed to be like great, uh, not grapefruit, I'm sorry. Let me uh, clear my palate. Yeah, smell the skin. Yeah. Raw shea butter. <laughs> it's supposed Mom. to be uh, grapes. I keep saying grapefruit. It's supposed to be like a grape okay, scent. Let me try that. So this is Caragas. All I know is when I leave here, whatever one I like best, I'm going to have to wear. Yeah. This Spray it on. I'll come across a fine lady. He's going to smell Caragas by Nisha Nay. This is supposed to be uh, grapes. A grape scent. Grapes? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. That was an accurate description. Yeah. I think on skin, it smells is... more sweeter. On the base, and it's boozy, passion not, fruit. Yeah. Yeah, not, yeah, not my favorite. Mm -hmm. However, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's just it's nothing I would wear yeah, often. Yeah, grapes. But it's not bad like i don't want to like clown these guys it smells fine right if you worse if you smell somebody wearing that just walk past you and just kind of whiff of the oh, oh you're one of those guys like, <laughs> he's, he's a great guy he's wearing these shiny <laughs> <laughs> smell the fragrance that i that i got that i had smelled at um scent explorer oh the uh kajal the kajal Ooh. this is kajal almas we smelled this at scent explorer they ran out of them. Yeah, my friend had bought the last bottle. See, this is this is one that that's also got that it smells really that good. feminine kind of touch to it. It's a woman. Well, scent. it came from the lady side, the yeah. room. So, <laughs> but it smells good. There's amazing. that. Look at this bottle, though. This bottle is gorgeous. Yeah, it reminds me of like an agave tequila bottle, something like yeah. that. What's that Arabic on it? Yeah, it's yeah. Arabic. That's cool. Yeah. Kajal Almaz. Man, hold on. This one's. It's so light mm -hmm. that I almost couldn't pick it up. Mm -hmm. Let me smell the bottle because <laughs> it's on there. Here, take the lid off. Like, I smell so many powerful joints when I just pull. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, that's beautiful, yeah. actually. It's pineapple to pineapple. Yeah, I would say citrus, citrusy, a little hint of a little, little floral, but nothing too, like, yeah. it's not like <laughs> wildflowers. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. <laughs> right. No, I like that. It smells no, amazing. No, she could have my number. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, she could page me. Yeah. Hit this, my beeper. This is dope shit. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's what amazing shit. Yeah. I'm my I could jaw. So, PDM, you haven't smelled here at Pegasus Exclusive Ojan and Kaline. I really want to, I want a bottle of uh, Kaline, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm skeptical because I've got, let's see, one, two, three. I already got four uh, PDMs. I do have Pegasus Exclusive and Ojan. Is that these here? Yeah. So you've smelled With Pegasus the, Exclusive. The Schmancy bottles? Yeah. Schmancy. I don't think you smell Ojan. I'm going to let him smell Ojan and see what he thinks about it. I wore this uh, the other night. Got a couple compliments. This is Ojan by Parfums de Marley. This reminds me of 
Christmas time and snow and stuff like that. That's that's Ojai. Mm. Yeah. Hold on. What is this? Ojai. No. He's like, hold on, wait. Flash Perfumery. Have have you ever tried our perfumes? No, I would like to. Send me a DM. I'm I'm interested. I I'd like to look into uh, what you have. Definitely. Yeah. I'm always open to smelling new things. I like this one, but this one is another one that makes me hungry. I'm picking up. <laughs> yeah, that's Ojan. That's <laughs> all <epic>. kinds of <laughs> fresh produce notes. Great point, Ojan and Angel Share. Thank you for bringing that up. Those are two comparisons that get you know. Here, let me grab Angel Share. I do have Angel Share. All right, let me. <clears throat> All right, so here's Angel Share. So that's not like a, <laughs> not like a little cup of whiskey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to look like a little flat, little uh, you know, glass uh, bottle Definitely for drinking with liquor. So these are we're gonna compare these two. Ojan by Perfume de Marley and Angel Share by by Killian. So you got Ojan uh, set to the side. Yeah. Okay. Ranch. Give it another reset your smell your skin. That's a tip, y'all. When y'all out in the mall and stuff smelling fragrances, don't smell those coffee bean things. Smell your skin, smell your shirt. A neutral sound, a neutral smell, a smell that your body's already used to. It'll There's reset around everything. here to smell too. Yeah. Smell a baby. Yeah, hold on. Let me <laughs> I don't think I sprayed enough on here. Hold on a second. Yeah, watch that one. Likes to eat stuff. All right, this is Angel Share. We're comparing Ojan and Angel Share. Hello, everyone that's joining. Thank you for joining. Oh, you getting some numbers in there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime I go live, you like four people. Three, <laughs> two, two, seven, seven, nine, one, one. <laughs> hey, forget y'all. <laughs> Where am I based? I am based. In uh, the United States, uh, Ohio. Got no little seat. No. Nah. No. Nah. No. <laughs> okay, so let me smell it. He's he's smelling Angel Share right now in comparison That's to Ojan. Yeah. Oh, you trying to say do they smell alike? Yeah. I, need, I don't. Okay, I know how Angel Share smells. It's a slight hint. It's not precisely you, the same. Y'all more practiced than me, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a big 10 nope. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like it, it smells nice, but it's got that I, don't, base I don't pick up any similarities between the two. Yeah. But then again, I'm a regular schmegular, you know, mm -hmm. local player. We'll let those dry down <laughs> and we'll, we'll come back to it and see if they, they smell similar. So as of right now, for the average nose, it's a, no, they don't smell the same. Um, so... You know, it's 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 funny because it's as a a frag head, you're like, oh yeah, this is missing this note. Is this and everybody else is like, what are you talking about? What? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like a chef. You know, you can yeah. pick up certain tastes, or you're like, oh yeah, this is missing paprika. Like, who can taste paprika? Right. That, that yeah. is a neutral taste. No, it's not. <laughs> However, for me, you know, regular degular, I'm gonna go ahead and say I don't pick up on any similarity between the two at all. Yeah. So, to my nose, Ojan is spicier. And this is more floral on the floral side. It's got more of a, like a light flower kind of thing going on. <laughs> so, which one do you prefer over Ojan or uh, or Angel Share? So, this is Angel Share. Yeah, the one for guys. This is Ojan. <laughs> so this is Ojan. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and... Here, and, we'll, here and... we'll mix them up. We'll mix them up. Uh, 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 you don't know which is which. Here you go. He's blind smelling right now. This is the angel share. Yep. Because this one has more of a high high note of fruit. I couldn't call the fruit. I don't know what it is. I don't know. No. This Was is, I wrong? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So he, 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 so you, okay, so. You sure? So now you're confusing me. Hold on. Yeah, this is angel share. This is angel share. This is Ojan. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. Here you go. <laughs> uh, blind pick. 
Don't say nothing until you finish. Or maybe because it's dry now, it's yeah. going to be something it's different. It's different when it dries down. Yeah, this is the lady one. Nope. Oh. <laughs> so he likes angel there shit. There you have it. My <laughs> nose is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this is 100% angel share because it's got that floral touch to it. And this is this is spicier. It smells like an apple. Tell me if you smell like an apple cinnamon pie or something like that. Yeah. I told this guy I hadn't eaten yet. <laughs> and he keep using food names and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of like Bobby, uh, Ricky Bobby. I don't know what to do with my hands. Right. I don't know. I don't Put know. your hands down. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Not like mom used to make, but definitely store-bought. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, I purposely confused him. So, initially, he he didn't like the way Angel Sarah smelled. That guy looks confused. <laughs> you are correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I confused him. Yeah, he uh, sniffed a lot. Man, now yeah. I look, sound like I got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> All that sniffing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Uh, what else, y'all? Everybody else? Anybody else got hey, a recommendation? Don't encourage them. I'm sniffed out. I want to get a sandwich. Right. right. <laughs> he wants a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll do. We'll do two more. Um, He's lying. A six. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let him smell some of my my higher end stuff, like my uh, my Tom Fords. I'm gonna let him smell my Tom Fords. Um, and I'm going I'm to let him smell the ones that are discontinued. I have Tom Ford Tobacco Oud Intense, and I have Tom Ford uh, Fougere d'Argent. And we're going to see which one he likes over, you know, either one. If you can find one, you know, uh, he'll give you an idea of which one he probably would buy. So, these are discontinued scents. Tuscan. No! <laughs> It sounds like three more. I don't have Tuscan leather, <laughs> but I do have something that smells similar to Tuscan leather. I'll spray it. I'll spray that one. Um, so here's the Tom Ford's, the discontinued. The first one he's going to smell is Fougere d'Argent. This is one of my most complimented scents right here by Tom Ford, Fougere d'Argent. Tuscan leather. Yeah, I don't have Tuscan leather, but I do have something that smells like Tuscan leather. Yeah. That sounds fantastic. I might have it in my... Uh... In your set? Yeah. So right now he's smelling Fougère d'Argent. Fougère d'Argent. Actually, I like that one. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Now that gives me a slight boozy. Whiskey. So in, in that there's lavender. Ooh, this is strong. <laughs> Nope, I don't have it. Not on you. I tried. <laughs> Next, he's gonna smell tobacco oud intense. This is discontinued as well. Thank you, thank you. I'm tr I'm trying to be the collector of hard to find discontinued stuff that actually smells good. So, for some reason, they discontinued the things that that actually smell really good. Right now, he's about to smell. That's how you drive up the value. Yeah. Tobacco Oud Intense. Oh, that's way different than anything I've smelled. Oh, I, that caught me off guard. <laughs> Hold on. He's talking about Tobacco Oud Intense. Yeah, it's 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 a strong yeah. one. Yeah, tobacco is the word, man. That's mm -hmm. that's fancy guy at the smoke shop. Yeah. Expensive cigars. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's very smoky. <laughs> very, yeah. However... No, I could do that every once in a while. Yeah, this is a special occasion. That's the one where you go out with the guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, out of the two, Tobacco Oud Intense. This is Tobacco Oud Intense. This is the one that's discontinued. Tobacco Oud is still available. The Intense version is, is discontinued. <laughs> not discontinued in Mexico. Yeah, the, the regular tobacco oud is not uh, discontinued. So, out of the two, tobacco oud intense or uh, fougere d'argent? 
Like, which do I prefer? Yeah, which one do you prefer? Just tell me which one. I like this one, and I'll, I'll know which one it is. <laughs> right, I got to clear out a little bit. Yeah. It smells like a fragrance store in here. <laughs> what up, Trill? Tell me if I'm wrong, but that's the intense, right? Yes. Yes, it is. There's an animalic note in this mug. That one is like... Yeah. Actually, I, I I prefer... What's this one? Fougere d'Argent. Okay. Because it's not so abrasive. Okay. Like, it's still, you know, very much... Um, how would I say? I'm looking for ways to describe it. Um, wearable? Yeah. I mean, they're all wearable, I guess, <laughs> to a degree. But, <laughs> but that one is more abrasive. It smells like... Like, yeah, it's called tobacco, whatever. But yeah. It smells just like tobacco. Like, they mm -hmm. just, like, packed a bunch of cigars in a, a barrel and then, like, made a scent from it. Yeah. However, this one smells like I'm supposed to smell good and not smell like I've been smoking all day. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so Fougere d'Argent is your pick. Yes. He likes Fougere d'Argent. A little more elegant. Yeah, this... Elegante. Tell me that don't smell like... A little bit animalic, like an animal, a little bit like that dry down because it smells different now. <laughs> yeah, if you have a tobacco field, mm -hmm. a, you got a dog though, <laughs> <laughs> a dog that got in a tobacco patch, right? So he really likes Fougere d'Argent over the tobacco oud intense. Plum Japanese, I've seen Plum Japanese pop up a couple times. Um, I was thinking about getting it. <sighs> I don't know. I just I've just seen so many other things that I wanted first. So, but plum Japanese Japanese is on my list. Amber Absolute I've seen pop up. It's super expensive. They want like a thousand dollars. I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it. Um, you guys convince him to let me take a bottle of the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have something that smells similar to Tuscan leather. Somebody was asking to let him smell Tuscan leather. This is a bit the last scent he'll smell today. Yes. With, <laughs> at least on live. At least on live. Send help. They're robbing folks. <laughs> yeah, they are robbing folks. Um, so this is supposed to smell like Tuscan leather by Tom Ford. Tuscan leather, I believe, is uh, still available. This is Witty in um, London. I wonder why the name's not on here. Uh, I know this is Witty in London. Woody in London, people compare it to um, Tuscan leather. We'll see his thoughts about it. This is another strong one. You all reset over there? I'm trying. I like this one. It's different. This is Woody and it smells similar to Tuscan leather. I think this might actually be around the same price range as Tuscan leather. I know this was almost like three something. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. It's called Tuscan leather, but it doesn't smell like somebody chopped up and boiled a leather coat. Yeah. You know, it's... That's more... This is more <laughs> raspberry forward. Okay. Yeah. Tuscan leather is I get a much little bit more, of that. Uh, much more... Uh, like, like, su like subtle fruit, but not like, hey, I ate fruit. You know, like... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you smell the raspberries on me? <laughs> you smell what the raspberries cooking? <laughs> yes, I do enjoy that. This, is, however, this is comparable to Tuscan leather, or is this Tuscan? People leather? say it smells like Tuscan leather. Okay. It's um, I don't have Tuscan leather. People say this smells like Tuscan leather, but Tuscan leather is a bit more darker, more animalic. That's more fruity. Um. It's, you said like not abrasive. What did you say? The ones that are in your face, I would call those more abrasive. Yeah. You know, like yeah. where the other ones are. I was describing those as, you know, subtle. You yeah. know. Subtle. So witty in London is more subtle. Everybody knows Tuscan leather would be a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't try to be. <laughs> when I actually tell jokes, people just stare at me. <laughs> like, huh? that? Was that a joke? <laughs> you said it's the best of the best from time for it. I'm going to have to, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to sell a couple bottles before I buy a bottle. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, that's I let him smell some things. Uh, hopefully, you guys all enjoyed it. Um, so, my name is Enrico Flamingo. You can follow me at Enrico Flamingo. E N R I C O Flamingo. Uh, this is Rare Fine Facts, and this is Chris's collection. I'm gonna try to take a bottle with me. So go. <laughs> You said t tobacco vanilla is a banger. Oh, you know what? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna give him. I don't have tobacco vanilla, but I have something that smells Stop. similar. Hold Stop. On. Stop recommending stuff. I was this close to a sandwich. Okay, when you came in. You get to <laughs> here. here, we'll end on this one. This, <laughs> this is supposed to smell like tobacco vanilla by Tom Ford. This is oud saffron. By Orientica. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that's not the tobacco vanilla. Hold on. I got it backwards. This is not the tobacco vanilla clone. This is uh, Lancome Oud Bouquet clone. So, you, know, you tell me how that one smells, too. And I got one more for you. And then we'll, we'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> It's called Oud Saffron by Orientica. This smells like a daily wear type joint. Yeah. Whoever suggested that, I'm like 30% less mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> because this is actually a good pick. <laughs> this is Oud Saffron. So, this isn't the Tom Van uh, Tobacco Vanille um, clone. This is uh, Lancome Oud Bouquet clone. So, the Tobacco Vanille clone is right here. That smells pretty good. It does smell. So this is tobacco. This is supposed to smell like Tom Ford tobacco vanilla. <laughs> Give me a moment <laughs> for technical difficulties. I'm letting him smell tobacco edition by uh, Alha Remain. Alha Remain Amber Oud tobacco edition. This is a tobacco vanilla oh, clone. Oh man, yeah. This smells like tobacco vanilla. This is like 100%. the softest scent you can have. And it still be deemed masculine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do like this. And it does give me the tobacco hint. Mm -hmm. Like, I smell tobacco, but it doesn't smell like aged tobacco in a barrel at your granddaddy's house. Right. Like, it's like a fresh rolled kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's, it's what well, we're using subtle and abrasive. It's more subtle, but the notes are still there. They're very prominent. Mm -hmm. It's just not like, Somebody ate tobacco and farted it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this fair. is possibly the winner of the day. Oh, uh, you like? I, yeah, he's gonna have to watch his back. I'm gonna take that bottle with me. <laughs> if I can remember which one it was. <laughs> have I smelled raw cherry by Aaron Terrence Hughes? Actually, I, that's what I bought when I was at Sin Explorer. That's exactly what I bought, and it does not smell like lost cherry at all. It's got its own scent, its own profile. It's this. Cap is magnetic. So, here's raw cherry. You go get that brother a sandwich before he faints. <laughs> Man, talk to him. Just make him smell it. <laughs> one all more. Hostage, make him smell everything. <laughs> so, this is, okay, one more comparison. <laughs> I said that like five times. Let's just. <laughs> SG SG fragrances. fragrances, man. Yeah. You guys are terrorists, man. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is raw cherry. I have lost cherry. Hold on. That's a good that's a good uh good idea. So here's here's uh lost cherry by Tom Ford. And here's raw cherry. You ain't getting that sandwich before raw cherry. <laughs> <laughs> At least send me, some, at least send me some cherries, man. <laughs> <laughs> so here's here's what? raw cherry. This is raw cherry by Aaron Terrence Hughes. This is a independent perfumer. He is freaking awesome with his fragrance. He knows fragrances. I'm catching that in the air. It's that strong. That is some strong stuff. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This one just like cleared out my whole. <laughs> yeah. Everything I smelled before, I can't smell anymore because this is like, here I am. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I 
I like this. Yeah. Um, uh, initially, I don't know. There's there's some type. Maybe it's, it, it's supposed to smell like cherries. I don't know. It doesn't smell like a cherry to me. However, there's a high note in it that just kind of cleansed my palate. I can't smell yeah. anything else that I just smelled. Is like, it tart? Yeah. That's the cherry. Okay, tart cherry. Yeah, yeah. it's a tart. Yeah, so initially it was tart. However, yeah. after a second smell to it, it wasn't as like, ah, you yeah. know, like, it was more so like, yeah. I'm still here, but I'll smack you. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. It's a raw cherry. I don't know what to do with my hands still. <laughs> <laughs> so that's raw cherry, and this is lost cherry. All right. All right. You ready for Lost Cherry? This is Lost Cherry. A time for Where's it. SG Fragrances? You knock it off, okay? After this, <laughs> sandwich. All right? Word of the day. Sandwich. Sandwiches. <laughs> so he's smelling Lost Cherry right now by time for it. He smelled raw cherry first. It does smell like a Lost Cherry. It's like, yeah. I used to be a cherry, but not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> that talk cherry is like right there in your face. Yeah. But then once it's there, it's like I'm still here. Yeah. Not as much in your face. I'm on the couch. <laughs> <sighs> I'm also hungry. I can't tell unless you got a sandwich with you on the other side of that screen. <laughs> right. <laughs> Man, this sandwich is good. What they smelling? <laughs> yes, it's time to eat. <laughs> That's my favorite word. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I like the raw cherry over the lost, lost cherry. cherry. But anything lost can be found. This is true. <laughs> this is Just true. Just add a little raw cherry to it. Yeah. All right. All right. We're going to let him eat. <laughs> Just order Grubhub. So I'm straight. Ah. That's like an extra $30. <laughs> I had a kid. It was just Christmas, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can use that $30 to get me another sandwich. Yeah, man. Two no, sandwiches. No, no. no Grubhub. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace. I'm Rico. Give them your, your uh, tag again. Enrico Flamingo, E N R I C O Flamingo, only on Instagram. I'm nowhere else. If you find it somewhere else, they're lying. <laughs> <laughs> it, ain't the, it ain't the real Slim Shady. No, no, no. All right, y'all. Peace. I'll see y'all. Thank you.